Okay, I was digging while I was putting uh, the dirt aside. Here it is. It's a little 50 cent or 20 cent. I'll tell you. It's the 50 cent. Now look at that. Those are good quality coins. Marvelous. On to the next. Okay, got my next one. 75, 76. And it's this. Another little pendant. Uh, I won't rub it too much. There might be something on there. It might be too corroded. We'll see. Oh yeah. Okay. Happy with that. Looking great, huh? Eh? On to the next. Okay. Okay, I found my next one. It's there. You see it. Um, signal was uh, eighty to eighty three. Oh. oh, I know what I got. Oh, I wanted one of these. Oh, sorry for the wind. But I wanted one of these. This is the five cent. The five cent line. The five line cent. Look at it. It's way bigger than the others. I'll compare it to the others, and it's in a good, good nick. Look at that, that's a decent coin, kind of a big coin. Okay, I won't rub this this one too much because I'm really happy, and look at the detail. I'm really gonna know which one this is, probably Leopold the first or the second, but I would say the first. Oh great find, this one made my day. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm happy with that. Super, super, super. Woo okay, on to the next. Okay, found my beautiful little coin there. And I got uh, another one here. Well, it's not a coin, it's uh, You know, the game where they do like this and that they catch it, you know, but with several. And I can do that. Uh, there it is. Yeah, it's part of a game made out of metal. We call it Bickle. Bickles. Nice. Oh, it's my uh, second one. On to the next. Okay. For my next one, it's again a little coin. Now, uh, now this is a. Uh, this is probably the, the small line scent. Yeah. Another coin. There we go. Well, I'm gonna have to stop filming because I only got two minutes left. Oh no, I can see what it is. It's a Dutch one. It's half a cent. You can see the C from cent. Yeah. And all in nice condition. Look at that. Great patina great detail okay on to the next okay this will be the last one it's another one of those little uh, miners somewhere in the 50s and this is the uh, uh, yeah it's also 50 something okay how is it Okay, on to the next. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome at the Roundup. This was a uh, seven and a half hours of hunt. Um, I'll show you the trash. This is just bottle top, tin can, uh, you know, 
all the usual stuff and I got a second one here this is also from this hunt all sorts of modern real trash then we got some iron a modern button a piece of machinery I thought it was a piece of lead this is a little piece of lead tubing a little lid of something you can see got threading here I got this little piece, don't know what it is, but it gave a very high signal. Um, a pseudo coin, I don't know what it is. Has nothing on it. Two little of these uh, aluminium foil type things from vaccines. A uh, piece of uh, folded brass. This is sink. This is a piece of molten aluminium, parts of tubes, two modern tags, uh, some sort. Um, aluminium wire, this is lead, all lead, a bit of camp lead, molten lead, window lead, and other pieces of uh, of it got some bullets shotgun cartridge uh, cartridges and parts of cartridges a 22 very small 22 bullets uh, one rimfire short cartridge type of thing uh, this one I filmed as well but it is a uh, just a cut off bullets and then uh, it's been crushed several times I think same type as this one we got one armor piercing one with a steel core one big musket ball it's a nice one nice and white this one is uh, like light green copper or brass nail thing I'm not sure if it is a nail it looks like some sort of nail a little knob of something has a bit of iron at the end and the rest is copper this is something I thought was trash but it's a little piece of a cog of a watch or a clock a little uh, building block Saxon uh, a little game uh, thing I don't know how they call it we call them biggles but you know you throw them up and catch them at the back of your hand part of uh, uh, oh I don't know how it's called <laughs> you can see what it is a hot rock or cokes um, a blade of a uh, kitchen knife it says prima rost fry so stainless and it's made in Zollingen Solingen in Germany which is famous for metal and knives and stuff uh, we got some buttons uh, some with the shank like this one this one has also got a shank but they, they haven't got any design made out of copper, copper, brass, brass this one too, no design a back seal, nothing left on it part of an older back seal um, this one had something on it but I can't make out what uh, the other side you can see like I don't know maybe part of a design or a, a word not sure what um, pieces of clay pipe a bit black part of a cup stem parts not decorated uh, part of an old buckle, well, two parts of it, made out of heavy copper, nice patina on it. Um, and then we have the pendants, two pendants, um, not much left on them. You can see where the text was, but I can't read it. And it's got a saint on this side, and the other side it has some buildings on them, like uh, a religious place. You know, and this one, this one is brass. This one is aluminium, uh, gold-plated aluminium. I don't know how well you can see this. 
Got a little cross on it, and then some uh, palm leaves, I think. The other side has some sort of uh, building on it, I believe, but it's heavily corroded. And I tried to get some corrosion off here just by scratching with my nail, but it just broke up, so I don't try that anymore. <laughs> there you go. Two religious pendants, put them aside. Then we have some 1700 coins. This one was a surprise, I'm gonna put it aside. Um, this one is a Austria Hungarian Empire uh, dead. Um, I don't know how I can show this the best way. Uh, it says Ad Uzum Belgi Austria, and the date is here is 174 and something else, I'm not sure. Uh, one seven. I can't see it. See that, and you can see the layer on it of the the rotten uh, top part. And once you scrape that off, you know you get almost nothing left, and it's barely identifiable. But I think it's 1740 something, and it's uh, a Maria Theresa. I know that for sure because she got like a, it's like this she always got like a bead necklace around here and you can always see those beads even in bad shape it's Maria Theresa of Austria Sunrise Solara gets these coins but the the version from Austria itself and this one is the Belgian version then we have a hammered coin that isn't readable and probably rotten away to bits and broken off pieces the other one is probably 1700s too but I'm gonna show it at the end because I didn't even know I had it <coughs> this one is uh, a half cent came from the coin field as you can see it's got a readable state it says 1 slash 2 on this side and cent on that side it has the weapon shield of uh, I believe Holland on it well the Netherlands and a big W on this side which is barely readable a crown on top and then on this side 18 and the other side it has hmm, well maybe it says 2 2 1 2 4 2 7 something like that I can see the 2 now but uh, let's see if we can get it but it's so small and with one hand I can hardly manipulate it like that. Uh, it's a two, a two and something. Uh, I can't see it. Maybe 24, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll show a good one at the end. This one is a line sent, same as as this one, but this is the normal field state. I get them in not very attractive but once you get in a good field you get them like this and then they're actually quite nice coins so that was a f one cent this is a two cent it's two cent at the bottom it's a French version Union fait la force Union makes strength on this side it says uh, Leopold II King of the Belgians but in French a crown on top you got these ribbons and the L and then there's the date at the bottom which is and I looked it up in on beforehand it looks like an 8 but it is a 3 it's 1873 Leopold II 1873 and in, you know an appealing state I think you know still got a lot of detail on it <coughs> and then we got the 5 cent my very very first one and actually quite a big coin also French version Lignol fait la fosse and this one has a 5 on it, 5 cent it even got the writing on the block left which is uh, Constitution Belge or Belgian Constitution Law 1831 and on this side it has the crown, the ribbons, the L the seal, the L from Leopold I and this one says Leopold Premier Leopold the first what the Bells King of the Belgians and the date is here at my nail at the bottom 
um, I'll try to get it as good as I can it says 18 let it focus yeah, you can see there 1 8 and the two other numbers are corroded away I'm afraid but it's somewhere between 1831 and 1860 I believe yeah so you can see the 18 but the other numbers but I'm glad with the overall state you know it's uh, an appealing coin and my first from these very happy with it because it is a nice coin but once when you get them when you get them like this you know it's uh, not as attractive as these of course very happy with this one this one was a woohoo worthy and then we have 1900s got another one Confederatio Helvetica 1907 just to show you this is my second one came from smoking field um, they're both 1907 oh, the date is oh yeah, it's there 1907 this one is a bit sharper the second one so that's a good one I like that and they're spendable you can still spend them in uh, Switzerland now my cat is coming to annoy me and I've got these two 50 something she wants to get uh, up the closet I think and um, this one the date is 1971 these are made out of bronze and bronze keeps very well in the soil here it's got a little miner's head on it with a miner's lamp behind his head and he, he's got like this helmet on the other one is the same but has a little bit more uh, sand concretion on it which will go off with some soaking in olive oil or if you clean them in any other way they're nice little coins small but nice readable you know good design I think and then we have uh, my euro <laughs> my almost silver euro but I find so little euros that actually you know I didn't even know it was one until I cleaned it a bit more it's an Italian one the date is on this side here I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's 2006 now you know for a coin that is from 2006 it's in a terrible state terrible terrible state but it's one euro it's spendable it's one of the nicer ones with a design on them uh, from Leonardo da Vinci his famous drawing I will show a good one at the end and then we have the surprise of this hunt and I don't even know from which field this came but it's this now that's not copper that's silver that's very old silver um, now it's got a lot of design on it but it's far from complete and I'll try to show this in a few different positions oh, maybe it's better to lay it down yeah you can see I don't know what's on there but I'll try to turn it a bit I don't know what it is see I find silver hammered and I don't know what it is it's so incomplete and it's got on this side it's got this and this I think I saw this before you know this shape like these two rounds maybe it's something I've encountered before in one of my research trip on Google I don't know what's on there but you can see there was some sort of design on it it's thin Oh, I would really like to know what this is 
it is silver hammered but you know <laughs> well it's a piece of it uh, and as I said I don't even know if it came from the smoking field or that second field yeah anybody got any ideas on this one please let me know I will never know what it is probably but I really really want to know yeah okay that was it and uh, hope you enjoyed it it was a long hunt and a long roundup but now you had it all so uh, thank you for watching see you soon on a new hunt bye bye